Dati the daft quivers, shivers, and bows before our leader. Baba Dati is trending and it is because of this picture. Baba Dati and President Tinubu seem to be in a mosque. Dati was shaking the president. Of course, trust Nigerians, they're going to run with some sort of narrative, especially people from the opposition. I mean, in your opinion, what does it mean to you? Does it mean that Dati is succumbing to President Tinubu or merely paying his respect? The former Minister of Culture and Tourism had a lot to say about this Femi Fanny Coyote and he, as usual, well, he's always dramatic. So at the end of the day, I'm not surprised. He said, and I quote, Dati the daft quivers, shivers, and bows before our leader, crawls on his little obedient knees while wearing a big sheepish, I'm sorry, sir, smile on his fat Mauritanian face. Glory. End quote. Okay. Firstly, I think it's dramatic, but that's also his signature. He's always like that. Uh, Baba Dasi's act of kneeling can be seen through different lenses. Like on one hand, it can be interpreted as a sign of respect for an elder, irrespective of political differences. From the picture, it's clearly obvious that they were in a mosque. Baba Dati, as customary, is, you know, in a mosque, kneeling, praying on his mat, and maybe he turned to greet President Tinubu, who was on a seat. And I guess President Tinubu, of course, is not going to kneel due to his health issues or age, because when you are in a mosque and praying, everyone is on their knees, you know? Everyone in the picture is like on their knees, except for Tinubu. Like, at the end of the day, what are we talking about here? It's a mosque. Like, they don't sit on chairs in a mosque. Bruh. Another perspective is that Badati understands culture and part of their culture, like New York culture, Hausa culture, part of Hausa culture, you know, they squat to greet their elders and he's a cultured person. You know, as a former minister of culture, I would really expect FFK to be aware of this. Like, we just keep clamoring for crazy ass politics in places that we do not need to. And it's just ridiculous. Imagine if Badati ignored Tinubu. What will not happen? The headlines that will be followed will now be worse than this. It will be worse. They'll say he's disrespectful. He's this, he's that, he's this. At the end of the day, you can't win. Politics is a game. And I keep saying that these politicians, they are always playing the game. Obi Dati supporters were not taking it lightly with FFK statement. A lot of people had a lot to say. Ex-user Pato also gave a really interesting perspective. This is what Pato said online. Common sense would have told you that it's not possible for him to stand and greet him while he's seated. Your hypocritical scheming here would have made sense if both were standing. If someone who's older than you by let's say six years is sitting down, how can you stand to greet him? More so, this is a worship ground where mostly everyone is sitting on the floor or bent over. If had he stood up, he would have obstructed the viewers' worshippers. Close quotation marks. Exactly. Common sense would say, but by that he's not going to stand and greet a president who's sitting down, especially in a mosque where customary, you know, practice is to sit on the floor. Another person said, Dati kneeling before President Tinubu, what's the fuss about? How do you greet an elder in your tribe? Do you greet them standing erect? If I met Tinubu, I will kneel down and greet him, but does it mean that I support his warped ideologies? Close quotation marks exactly like just because you don't support someone's ideologies doesn't mean you're going to be disrespectful to them like you're going to acknowledge them you're going to greet them properly and for most people who are quite cultured it's natural impulse to do so simple uh baba dati has been a strong critic of tinubu's government right from the elections post elections like he's been criticizing him and the propaganda is also understandable because in politics honestly every action is a strategic move like they are always looking for something to make narrative with both opposition sides so i'm not really surprised let's not overlook though that this, there's a lot of calculation with a lot of these interactions like politicians even when they are on the opposition side like they still have very good relationships with each other which is the reason why you'll find that one person will be in this party and then all of a sudden they will abscond and move to another party why because at the end of the very core day most of them are still friends the political structure and the political parties don't have strong ideologies so you're easy to shift from party to party. For example, in America, if you're a Democrat, which is one of their political parties, and Republican, that's one of their other major political parties, they have very strong, different political ideologies. So you don't find people hopping between political parties easily. What's the political ideology of PDP? What's the main core ideology and what mandate does APC stand on? What's the core ideology and mandate that Labour Party stands on? I like I, I don't really know. I don't know what the major differences are. So at the end of the day, all of them are just playing politics when it comes down to it, in my opinion. I would like to see these parties develop stronger political ideologies so that we can know who and what we're supporting properly. I don't want to see politicians moving from party to party. It's actually not done. It's not supposed to be done that way. That's not how politics are played. Even in the UK, if you're part of the Conservatives, if you're part of the Labour Party, then you know exactly what it is that your political party you support stands for. It's clear. 
But what's your interpretation of this photo? Is it mere respect or is it political strategy? My opinion, that's he's just greeting an elder who's the president of the country. I'm over this politics. Anyways, today's news really irritated me. I hope you guys can tell. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts on all the political stuff that's happening in Nigeria and how you guys are feeling about this brand new week. Make sure that you follow us on all of our social media platforms, which are scrolling right now across the screen. In addition, do not forget to share our content. Make sure that you're engaging. Comment down below. You can easily share these videos just with one quick swipe to all of your social media platforms across the board. My name is Balale. I will see you tomorrow on The Scoop.